Your job as a parent is to make your child socially desirable by the age of four. Like you gotta, you, you wanna burn that into your brain because people don't know that. That's your job. And here's, here's why. You, you th it's, it's easy if you think about it carefully. So you imagine you've got a, you've got a three year old child and you take that child out in public. What do you want from the child, for the child? You want the child to be able to interact with other children and adults so that the children are welcoming and smile and want to play with him or her. And so the adults are happy to see the child and treat him or her properly. And if your child's a horrible little monster because you're afraid of disciplining them or you don't know how to do that properly, then what they're going to do is re they're going to experience nothing but rejection from other children and false smiles from other parents and adults. And that's, so then you're throwing the child out there into a world where every single face that they see is either hostile or lying. And that's not something that's going to be particularly conducive to the mental health or the well-being of your child. If your child can learn a couple simple rules of behavior, like don't interrupt adults when they're talking too much and pay attention and try not to hit the other kids over the head with the truck any more than is absolutely necessary, then, and, you know, and share and play properly, then when they meet other kids, the, the kids are going to try out a few little play routines on them and that's going to go well and then they're going to go off and socialize each other for the rest of their lives. Because that's what happens, is that from four years old onwards, the primary socialization with children takes place among other children. And so if the kids don't get in on that early, they don't move into that developmental spiral upwards and they're left behind. And then the peers leave them behind. And then those kids are alienated and outside the peer group for the rest of their life. Well, those are the ones that grow up to be long-term antisocial.